What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kurt says seven. Lads here today, I'm here to review Manchester United defeating the European champions 3-1 in the USA in Michigan in front of 110,000 people. Wow, that crowd was impressive. Honestly, normally stadiums, when they hold that much, they got layers, level 1, level 2, level 3, and whatever. This was just one level, level 1. It was massive, huge. But uh, don't mind me if you hear some noises in the background. I'm just at work, and I've got plenty of planes around But because uh, I work at the airport. Anyways, moving on. Manchester United, mate, 3-1 winners over the European champions. Not bad for a team that's uh, a mid-table club not playing the Champions League this season. Mate, we played good. It was uh, it was an interesting game. Now, I always say this. Uh, Pre-season friendlies, lads, results, they mean nothing. It's about getting the most out of the games and not getting any injuries at all. But uh, injuries, Danny Wilbeck, my man, went down injured after the uh, in the first half. And I was devastated about that. This pre-season's not been too good for injuries. You know, the first game, Raphael injured, went home. Second game, um, Smalling injured. Uh, third game now, Danny Wilbeck, you know, but uh, in saying that, lads, the game against Real Madrid, uh, the first 20 minutes, we looked fantastic, passing the ball, and, uh, you know, we're bossing it the first 20 minutes, you know, nice link-up play passing, and now uh, we open up the scoring with a beautiful, beautiful uh, pa passing pretty much throughout the uh, whole team, and uh, Ashley Young finished it, and, uh, yeah, Ashley Young... Mate, boy, isn't he having a, a, a huge, huge, huge preseason? Mate, the kid is just taking full advantage of impressing a new coach. And, and good on him, you know. And he's not the only player doing it. You know, uh, Tom Cleverley, he seems to be doing well under Louis Van Hal, you know. I think it's blatant, blatantly obvious that Louis Van Hal is getting the best out of every single player here. Oh my god, it's about to get loud. There's a plane coming. You had to come now, didn't you? And the whole time, if it's getting loud, it's because there's a plane. You know what? I'll just show you the plane. You know, you might find it pretty cool or not. You know? There is Virgin Australia. But uh, anyways, opening 20 minutes. We're just going to kick on here with the plane. All right, opening 20 minutes. Yeah, Ashley Young got the scoring. Uh, five minutes after that, Gareth Bale won a penalty. Michael Keane, um, he was all right, you know. He did give it, uh, blankly give away the penalty, you know. Uh, clear, clear foul, you know. And Bale put that away. But, uh, you know, Michael Keane will learn a lot from playing on Gareth Bale for about 90 minutes or so. But uh, just before half time, Ashley Young had the ball. He crossed it in. And uh, Wayne Rooney claimed that he had it. But, uh, nah, it was a goal for Ashley Young. We hit the lead 2-1 just before the half time. You know, the first half was promising, you know. The link-up play between the midfield. Herrera didn't have his best game, but I thought Darren Fletcher bossed it. Uh, in defense, you know, wasn't tested too much in the first half. But anyways, on the second half, guys. And um, Madrid, you know, because they were down, they started to dictate the play a bit more. They were bossing it in the midfield. You know, we were defending a bit more, dropping deeper. You know, we'll start to put five at the back. But then, uh, you know, Louis Van Gaal made a few substitutions. He bring on Hernandez, bring on Kagawa. And uh, that really, you know, it sparked us, you know. Uh, mate, uh, Kagawa, this definitely, definitely by far was his uh, best game of the tour so far. Mate, putting in sublime balls for uh, Hernandez. And in the end, mate, picture-perfect cross to the back post. And Hernandez, mate, even though it was just a header, he put his body on the line. And in this preseason friendly, there was no need for that. But I tell you what, he wasn't caring about anything. Even if he got a punch to the nose, he was... Putting his head on that. And a lovely finish. United 3-1 in the end. And we got to see our man Cristiano Ronaldo back. Which was surprising because all the talk was that he wasn't going to play a minute in this preseason game. But he couldn't resist the chance to play against Man United. And uh, he didn't do too much. But, you know, it's his first game back since the World Cup. You know, it's good to see the players who, you know, under David Moyes were just absolute shy, but, you know, proving themselves for uh, Louis Van Gaal. You know, the top, the likes of uh, Tom Cleverley, he came in on the second half and he was, you know, pretty impressive. He's been pretty good on this tour, you know. So, uh, who else? Uh, Zaha came on. He looked impressive. Another one that didn't do so good under Moyes. But for me, guys, the tour that this guy is having, mate, Ashley Young. He just looks like a totally different player under Louis Van Gaal. And it's great to see. But uh, Hernandez, he looked really good in this game as well. So I'm not too sure if he's going to go this summer. I hope he stays. I hope he sticks it out under Louis Van Gaal. I think, I think this uh, tour is proving 
that Louis van Gaal can get the best out of our players. And, and it's so obvious to see, even in these preseason games that mean relatively nothing. How, how far have we come since David Moyes to Louis van Gaal, honestly? But um, Louis van Gaal getting the best out of his players, it's so obvious. Now we move on. We finished on top of our group ahead of Real Madrid and uh, Inter Milan and Roma. And that's but uh, now we uh, face Liverpool in the final of this international cup or whatever it means and whatever. I think it's Monday ish in Miami. So uh, yeah, it's the final. The winner takes all. Means nothing. I just hope personally no injuries because we've been having injuries every single game. No more injuries. It'd be nice to beat the Scousers as well. But at the end of the day, if we don't win it, boo-hoo. Because we've got Valencia on the 12th at Old Trafford. So that's going to be great as well. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I covered everything. Uh, Wayne Rooney, he was all right. Matam, he was all right too. Didn't really get out of second gear. Mate, man of the match, even though he didn't play the whole game, I'm going to have to give it to Ashley Young. I thought he was amazing. Every time he had the ball, very clinical. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, lads, make sure you stick around for the review of Liverpool versus United in the final of this International Cup. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Anyways. I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Better get back to doing some work before my boss comes and sees me. Anyways, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care and peace.